<laughs> hey, the square tool, easiest tool. Look at all this freehand stuff you'd have had to do. All right, spawning on Lost Temple, close by air. We have the faggy pink Protoss Talion and the booger green Zerg, Tyler. Oh, he... Tyler is going to spot him right away. <laughs> Great overlord scouting from Tyler these last few games of his I've casted. Take a look. That's so cool. It's like full screen now. <laughs> I really need to cast games on YouTube. <laughs> I should. <laughs> there's a there's a couple guys in Halifax who cast like bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Le yeah, leg TV. They Husky cast like lowest he'll cast is diamond, but there there are some people who cast bronze, silver, gold, plat. And live full full time off of it from ads and stuff. It's crazy. Leg TV. There's your plug. D2DGamer.com. YouTube.com slash life, life, Life's a Glitch TV. Check them out. Control W. It, it only works in Spectate and on some maps. Some maps don't have it. <laughs> All right. So we got the ex extractor going down for Tyler. Definitely going to get his metabolic boost again. Gateway going down. A l standard timing. No spawning pool yet. Take a look at the APM of these players. Look at that. 59. And it's the first two minutes of the game. You know your APM spamming when. Let's take a look. Tyler. APM spamming. 234. 234. 234. 234. Definitely was. Strac er, assimilator. Sorry. Going down. Spawning pool. About half done. Simulator going down, that means he's probably going to go something a little bit more standard, like just get Warp Gate. I don't think he's going to try the Blink Stalker thing again. Um, has he scouted him? He has scouted him. I don't think he saw the timing of that spawning pool, though. I, actually, he did. So, he didn't see the gas at all, and he didn't quite see the worker count, so... I mean, but worker count this early in the game, you kind of know what it is. Yeah, Cybercore going down, so a lot more standard play out of Talion. Tyler is going to see the timing of the, of the Cybercore, which is slightly late. Not very much. That's about half done. Some more workers on the way. The spawning pool is finished. Queen on the way, so he's going to get that inject larva right away. First, zealot, bo first Bob the Zealot coming out. Bob the Zealot. Sometimes you're so bad at your job, you just have to stand in between the gateway and the cyber core and block it. But sometimes you just don't. Epic battle right here between this probe and the drone. Oh, he says no. And Bob's like, you know what? I don't get paid enough to really pay attention to the ramp. I'm just going to look this way. Couple zerglings on the way. Queen almost finished. Get the expand up too. Warp gate research started. Metabolic boost just started as well. And a robo bay. That's kind of an early robo bay. Looks like we might be seeing a three-gate robo. Probably going to be getting some immortals because of those roach numbers. I think every game I've seen Tyler play, he's just gotten a lot of roach. So getting those immortals against him is probably a good idea, because I don't think he's going to do anything too, too different this game. Got this probe here ready to do a uh, proxy. That's the word. Few lings down here. Going to run them up and down just to, just to check the timing on everything. Si uh, warp gate research about half done. Another queen on the way here, so he can just skate it down to his second. I'd like to see more creep spread out of Tyler, to be honest. Creep spread is a really, really important thing when you're not ZVZ. ZVZ creep spread isn't a very big deal, except for map vision, but you have overlords for that early game anyway. But ZVP and ZVT, you can creep out, and you really don't even need to get roach speed then, or hydro speed. You can just skate all the way, and you get all of the map vision. So it's a great thing to have. Uh, two gateways going down. Uh, the Roach Warren just finishing for Tyler. Oh, Colossus Tech. I don't know if this is the right choice, though. Those Roach do extra damage against Colossus. But who knows? This is the build I tried against him last game, and, well, obviously I'm not as good as Talion. Actually, I don't know. I haven't played him. Still no proxy from you. Just chilling. 
he might just be sitting here to make sure he doesn't get that third or to check the timing on a third. The two gateways just finishing up here. A couple more Zerglings and a Roach coming down now. If he hit right now, this would be all the way bad. He does have a warp in ready though, so he, he won't be able to get many units just because his income isn't as isn't quite up to where uh, Tyler's is. Take a look at the units tab: five roaches and twelve links to three zealots and two stalkers. Talion actually has the worker advantage right now, twenty-one to, or twenty-two to twenty-one. Sorry, but because OP Zerg doesn't actually have the income advantage just because he's a little bit oversaturated. The Zerg is a little undersaturated on both bases, but he does have the advantage. There was a small battle right here, only lost uh, three or four lings, nothing huge, only damaging one zealot down to about half health, but his shields will start regenerating. Oh, Col one Colossus out. Let's check the Vel Thermal Lance is about halfway done. No more, oh, a couple more zealots too. Doesn't have a Twilight Council, so we're not going to be seeing Zealot Charge, which is a Zealot Charge is a good thing to have in a uh, Protoss Death Ball with uh, Colossus in it, just because they can get to the front of the battle and tank all of that damage right at once. Oh, and he supply blocked, and he kind of overreacted by making three Overlords at once. That's 300 minerals all at once. I'm not sure that's the best idea. There is Lair Tech on the way. So we might be seeing burrowed roaches. There is a battle right here. Zealots are up front tanking the damage. There is a force field blocking off the rest of those. He will be able to clean this up. Beautiful play by Talion. Definitely favoring him. Tyler taking the most damage. Our army supply is still favoring him though because of those larva injects. Colossus uh, range attack is just finishing now in a couple more seconds here. Lair tech's almost done. And he, he is moving out. He's going to expand off of this defense, which is a good idea. He, he does have the advantage now because of this Colossus range. He will be able to, try to, to tank it with these Zealots as well. So I think it's a great idea to expand off this, which he is doing right now. He is expanding at about 60 supply, which by pro standards is super early. I'm sure Huck and MLG probably expanded around 70. Pylon going down here just so we can get the warp in here. Roach speed on the way, a few more roaches popping out. This probe still here checking the time on the third base. No burrow yet. I'd like to see ventral sacks. I, I, I would love to see a baneling drop. Here comes the attack. This Colossus doing tremendous amounts of damage. <laughs> 15 times 2, range 9. And now there's two Colossus and a lot of Stalker. Check the army supply here. It is still favoring him, but honestly, right now, I think it's going to favor Talion with those Colossus. I don't think Tyler is expecting Colossus this quick. Hydralisk Den is going down, which the Hydralisk Den, is, I think it, personally, I think it's a terrible choice right now. I think what he needs, those, yeah, the Colossus are just going to melt the, melt the Hydras. What I think he should do is get some Mutas, because they are close by air. He needs to get Mutas, Corruptors, use the Mutas to harass this and the Corruptors to just take down these, these Colossus. But the Zerg Death Ball here. 64 to 48 supply with a 38 workers and 24 for Talion. Getting the forge on the way. Probably going to see some ground upgrades, which makes those Colossus really scary. Th this is something I don't like out of... Oh, here comes a battle. Colossus killing all of the Zerglings. No blink on these stalkers, so there won't be any micro, but all these force fields, he's not able to actually get to the Colossus with all those roach. Stalkers are going to be able to take it, and Talion comes out ahead in this battle. Good job. Wow. Great play out of both players. No, he it, it, it got down to half health, but that Colossus is still there. Ten kills on that Colossus. Insane. Here comes another battle. Out of position here. Random force field. Another. All he's doing there is blocking his own zealots. He needs to watch those force fields a little bit more carefully. Going to... 
tap that tower. <laughs> tap it like I tapped your mama. <laughs> well, while nothing's happening right now, just something I'd like to point out. These pylons right here, these Artosis pylons, are not a good thing. If he takes out this one pylon, there goes his cyber core. One more bit. Here comes the battle right now. The roaches are getting separated by some great force fields by Talion. Wow. These Colossus went down. This Colossus... Oh, but he came out ahead. Army supply is now favoring Talion. 48 to 43. Three gateways on the way. And a lot of Zerglings to get up front and take that damage. Oh, but... These sentries don't have enough energy for force fields. This could be bad. Oh, there's just too many stalkers there, I think, to even worry about. Oh, the Colossus is down. But there is a lot... Oh, another Colossus coming out on the field right as I say that. There's a lot of stalkers here. Probably going to be able to clean this up. Spine crawlers, you can tell he's getting desperate when he just starts throwing down spine crawlers. This base is going to go down. I don't think he can defend it. Wow! Wow! Perfect force field! Jeez! Amazing! Pulling off workers! He's pulling off workers to try and defend only four roaches and a few lings! Talion will easily be able to take this, especially with these zealots and a couple more sentries here. And he's still blocking off that ramp! Wow! <laughs> he needs to watch these Banelings, though. These Banelings can soften up the units quite a bit. A couple zealots getting through there, but getting mopped up quite easily. Another spine crawler going down. These spine crawlers just scream desperation. The zealot here just, just murdering every single unit. GG from both players, and Talion takes game number two. Wow, great series!